Hello and welcome to another training video. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at this mysterious thing called query folding. And this is in both Excel's Power Query and also in Power BI. Now what is query folding and how does it affect us? Well, let's look at an analogy. Okay, in our analogy, what we have is we have our data source. Now, we're going to look at this as being a massive library. Um, and within that library, we want to get a just a few pages from a book on Power BI. But as we go into the library, we realize that all of the signs and directions are written in Latin. And I don't speak Latin. So what do we do? Well, we go and speak to a very helpful librarian who not only understands Latin, but she also knows where everything is. She has access to different parts of the library that I wouldn't have access to, and generally is very, very good and fast at her job. So we can think of the library as being our database or our data source, um, which is guided in a different language to our own language. And the librarian, she is the server. So she is the server who owns that library of stuff and her late native language might be SQL or some other relevant server language. Now within the library, there are some house rules. And the first of these rules is the librarian will copy pages from any number of different books that I want. Uh, but of course, the fewer pages I take away, the easier it will be for me to then read and process and analyze that information that I take away. But there's another rule. Once I've taken away those pages, the librarian will not help me anymore. I need to do everything myself from the point at which I leave the library. So she won't look back on the pages that I've taken away. So let's have a look and see how this actually works in Excel. So here what I have is I have just an empty uh, spreadsheet. And I'm going to make a new query, get data from a database, and I'm going to go to a Microsoft Access database. And all I'm going to do is get from a single data source, and I'm just going to pick up a single table from within there, just as a demonstration. So there's my table, and I click on Transform Data. Now, when this opens up the Power Query, we notice that we have these individual steps on the right hand side. Now what we can now do is right click on these steps. Now if you do this on a source that is not a database source, you're not going to see this. But if the source is a database, you get the option to view the native query. So this would be, how do I ask for the book in Latin? Or the language that the database understands. So there is an example of the native query for me navigating to that particular uh, set of data. Now we can carry on putting steps in here, like for example, doing some sorting or filtering. And if I just filter out administration and then check the step, you'll see that I could actually view the native query for that step as well. So this is what's referred to as a folded query. In other words, my mashup code, my M code, has been folded and transformed into a version of code that will run directly on the server. And this obviously makes it much faster because the server is faster than my machine and it's in the same language, the native language of the server. So we can carry on putting in steps, uh, but every now and then we do something which breaks the folding. And there are certain things that can't be translated into Latin. So, for example, there was no Latin word for uh, Power Query because Power Query didn't exist back when Latin was being used. So, equally, there may be commands that we do within M code which have no equivalent within SQL and cannot be done on the server side. An example of that would be me putting in an index column. So if I come down here and I'm going to insert a column to add column index. And if I now come to look at the native query for that step, we'll see that it's grayed out and I cannot now look at that. So this is something that has to be done on my local machine. 
everything up to and including the step before will be coded into the, the language of the database and done as a single query on the database on the server side, therefore much faster. And the answer to all of that will be sent to me. But this step here must be done on my local machine. So that's equivalent to me leaving the library with my few pieces of paper. So now from now on, everything that I want to do to those few pieces of paper, I have to do myself. The librarian is no longer going to help me. Now, why is this an issue? Well, actually, if I do that step part way through and then go back to do something else that could be done in Latin, like another uh, filtering, that subsequent step cannot be done as a folded query. So that cannot be done by the server. That now has to be done on my local machine. So what does this mean? Well, actually, practically what it means is that you need to identify which of these steps is the one that breaks the fold in your query or the one that stops everything subsequently being allowed to view the native query. That step there, so in this case, it's the index, we need to question whether it could be done later than it is being done. So for example, a sort, well, actually a sort could be done right down the bottom of your query because there is no need to do the sort earlier on. Of course, you might find it convenient, um, but you probably want to do it as late as possible. Uh, likewise, that one there, filtering the rows, I might want to do that actually not add the index there, maybe add the index later on. Now, of course, some of these steps do have to be done in a specific order. What I'm saying is that if they don't, do the one that breaks the fold as late as possible. Do as much as possible before you leave the library. Get as few pieces of paper, in other words, as small a query as possible, coming out to go away with before you stop getting the help of the server. Now that I've taken out my index, I right click and I see that this is now going to be part of the folded query. In other words, the query in the native language. Okay, uh, I know that's not immediately obvious to people. Um, I hope this explanation of what is a folded query and how it works, I hope it's been quite useful to people. And as always, if it has been, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And of course, thank you for listening.